I stand here tonight after we've created, with the help of many people in this room, 12 million new jobs, more jobs created in two years than any president's created in four years because of you all, because of the American people. They all stand and clap. Well, that was a lie. <laughs> let's just let's just clear that out of the way. That was a lie, a big fat one. I don't know how people yeah. believe this, honestly. How do they? I, I don't know. I think the particularly bogus part of this claim is the idea that he created all of those new jobs. Really oh, what happened is that God. we lost 22 million jobs within the first two months of the pandemic, and these jobs are starting to come back. But mm -hmm. when you you know, put your boot on the neck of business owners, shut them down, and then step off. Do you really get credit for them bouncing back? If you're a Democrat, you, know? you do. If you're a Democrat, you do. And I don't even believe that the Bureau of Labor Statistics numbers on that are actually correct. I don't even think it's 12 million jobs added back in that were already taken away. I mean, in, during quarter two of last year, it was found that they lied. So the Bureau of Labor Statistics, and this was uncovered, actually— <laughs> right. Crazy. This was ironically uncovered by the Federal Reserve Bank in Pennsylvania. So out of the 12 central banks, Pennsylvania was the one that actually pointed this out because they review, they release this yearly or quarterly report, I believe, of the quarterly uh, employment statistics collected by the Bureau of Labor Statistics from each state. And it found that the majority of the states like actually vastly overstated the amount of jobs they had added back, meaning that the government officials, the bureaucrats in those states that are in charge of tallying up the employment numbers, mm -hmm. they lied. They in turn lied to the Biden administration and the Biden administration in turn lied to us. So in the second quarter of the last year, um, which is like the March, uh, around March, they said that they added 1.1 or 1.2 million jobs back into the economy. It was like 10,000. Like joking. it was not even like a slight discrepancy. It was, they overstated it by over a million. It was that bad. So for them to oh say, for gosh. Biden to say now that he added 12 million jobs back into the economy, when a quarter two last year, he said he, he added a million and it was actually 10,000 and none of it was through the fault of his own. It was just COVID jobs coming back from being destroyed. I don't believe this for a second. And guys, go read my article on the Post Millennial about this actually, because I did a, I did a good deep dive into it. But yeah, this is all true. The, Olivia, look up the is... Federal Reserve Bank of Pennsylvania. They found this out. That is absolutely nuts because I didn't even catch that while doing research on he, this. Th yeah, there's so many lies it's almost impossible to catch. But yeah, the Biden administration has previously lied about jobs numbers, so I don't believe this for a second. Wow. Yeah. I, and again, like how can you take credit for creating jobs when these are just simply business owners coming back after right. you crush them? <laughs> you know? Politicians going to politic. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely.